Welcome back to Educator.com and our series on Java. Today we're going to talk about classes, objects, and methods. We're going to get a little deeper into classes, objects, and methods right now and what these are and then we're going to see them in action in some code later on. First of all, with classes, objects, and methods, I like to compare these conceptually to parts of speech. So we're all pretty familiar with how we uh, speak, parts of sentences, what words are, nouns, verbs, so forth. So just to get your mind around what uh, Java is and some of these terms, uh, let's compare them to uh, some words. So in general, class, you might think of that as like a general noun or uh, as opposed to a proper noun. So you might think of this a, a, as a bird or a ship, for example. If we get more specific, an object within that class might be a specific kind of bird. In other words, an eagle or a specific kind of ship, an aircraft carrier. So we identify things as objects within their class. Then when it comes to something like a modifier or a descriptor, like an adjective, in Java, they usually call those attributes. And you might say part of the eagle are the wings or part of the aircraft carrier is the flight deck. So that's part of the object. Then we want to know what does that object do or what can it do? Then we need these methods. A method is like a verb, the action that the class takes or the action that the object takes or what it does or what task it performs or what we want it to do within the program. These methods will often have parameters which we call arguments and arguments are the parameters of the method so if we say that the eagle for example can fly we might want to know how fast or how high same thing with an aircraft carrier with a ship how fast is it moving what direction is it moving things like that are arguments when it comes to methods <laughs> 